All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to get a truck loaded to a target weight of 10 tons. And I'm going to purposely um, miss my uh, bucket load on my second bucket and show you how you can make adjustments to those bucket loads uh, and get that truck loaded very efficiently. So in this case, I'm shooting for 10 tons. I'll show you how I go about this. So in this case, my first pass, I'm going to go ahead and come in here, get a bucket load of material. In this case, I don't really mind what this first bucket load is. I just know that I need, I'm gonna need more than one, so I'm just gonna not even weigh this at this point in time. Just go ahead and run it right over to my target. I'm gonna go ahead and give a smooth, steady lift right on up to my weigh range. That green box appears when I've completed my pass through that precision weigh range, and I've got 5.9 tons. I'm gonna go ahead and tip that bucket until I get those asterisks to show up because that's confirmation that I've latched that material in. I can no longer make adjustments and it is locked into that truck. So my bucket's empty, I'm good. I'm gonna back out of here, go get my second load. I'm gonna shoot for say four tons. I don't yet know how close I am, but I'm gonna run up my RPM throttle a little bit give a smooth steady lift out of the pile. And you can see with our low level weigh option is I can get a pretty quick confirmation of an estimated weight of what's in my bucket. And notice I have not dumped it in my truck yet, but this is our auto calculator feature. If I do, I would have 12.5 tons in there. That's too much. So I'm gonna start tipping material off and I wanna bring it down roughly to about 10 tons. I'm gonna give us a little bit, bit of a back out of the pile so that I don't hit the bottom of my bucket on that pile. And then as I dump material, you can see here, it will meter off. And as this meters down, I'm delivering less in my bucket. So less is gonna be added to what I take to my truck. So I wanna just keep metering that on down. And in this case, when I'm close to my target, I basically rack back and then I would back out of the pile. But I was gonna show you what happens if I go beyond my target and I need a little bit more. You can see here, if I dump too much, oh, and I know I gotta get more, uh-oh, what do I do? I better get another scoop. But when I come back in for another bucket load, what happens? I lock that in, and so I need to actually subtract that pass off before I weigh this next one because if I would weigh it then I'd be on my third pass. We call that our oops button. All right in this case I've got 5.8 tons. Oh that's still too much so I'm going to give a proper tip off and when I'm at my proper target weight see I'm just coming down to it give a little, nice little bump here a little shake and when I'm just above my target, oh, there I am. I'm pretty close. So I'm gonna deliver this over to my target. And as I approach, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up this linkage arm right on up through my way range. And you can see I get that green box accurate accuracy confirmation. And I am all good to go ahead and uh, dump that in. You can see I'm underneath my target. And as I dump, I'm looking for that confirm confirmation of those asterisks that I'm no longer making a bucket adjustment, but I'm actually latching that material into that final truck weight. And if I dump just far enough, you will see that that latch occurs. Right there it is. And it's not the full dump, but there's a good plan on where that's at. So I've hit it. Go ahead and back that on out of there. Since I'm done <clears throat> with that truckload, I'm gonna press the store button and save that data.